Well, this recovery house is more than I expected it would be. It is so big and decorated so well. It's a really nice recovery house. I'm impressed. I just thought I was going to see a little tiny house with little tiny rooms and not all these beautiful furnishings. And I thought I would see... Not this. I can't even explain. But I didn't think I would see this at all. This is really a nice, nice recovery house. And I, everything I see, I like. I never in my life thought I would see this day, Brandon, when I would be so proud of you. After that one Sunday morning at Mass, a lot of years ago, Mass was over and I was still kneeling in the pew crying. And Father Mike was the priest. Father Mike came up and he said, what is it, Pat? Is it Brandon again? I said, yes, it is Father Mike. I said, I wish God would cure him or kill him or kill me. I can't take anymore. And he screamed at me in church. He said, don't you ever say anything like that. Everybody was looking at me. God has plans for him, and you don't know what those plans are. Well, Father Mike was right. God did have plans for you, and they've made me so happy. I can sleep now, and I don't wait for the phone call all night, every night. The phone call from somebody saying that you OD, or you're in jail, or you're in shock trauma holding on for dear life. I've had a lot of those calls. Phone calls today, normal. Hello. All right, then you start squawking at me. Do this, do that, do this. Where are you? Why did you do this? Why did you do that? But they're normal mother-son phone calls. We just fight like normal now, not the nightmare fights we used to have. And I'm not scared anymore. I, I just don't know what happened or how it happened. You were in so many rehabs, I lost, I lost count and I lost thousands upon thousands of dollars putting you in these rehabs and then you'd be right out and one time I picked, went to pick up from some rehab on the way home you jumped out of the car in downtown streets to buy a, a fix after I just paid a few thousand. It was, uh, I never thought I'd see it, ever, ever. So that's why I'm very happy with this. I never thought I'd see it, but I do now and I don't ever want to go back to that again. You do work for rehab and you're, you're so, so well, you talk to them very well. You've been there and you did that and you can tell these people what to do and how to do it and when to do it. And some listen, some don't. And some of them it takes a lot of times like it did you, but you're doing a great job with the people you're working with in rehab now. I see it and talk to them all the time. I haven't even seen the upstairs yet. Everything down here is so overwhelming. And the kitchen and the backyard, it's got it all. It is really impressive. I'm impressed. You're still a brat though and I can't stand you. But really I hate him, I hate his guts. Thank <laughs> you.